Welcome back to the show. Uh, big story we just posted on the website. I did not see this coming, anybody. I did not see this coming. I don't think anyone did. Lamar Odom, who almost died in a brothel in 2015 when he overdosed on drugs and suffered uh, multiple seizures and heart attacks and, and strokes, and it did not look like he was ever going to um, fully recover from that at the time. He has. It was a miracle. It was an absolute miracle that this guy was able to not only recover and get healthy again and talk again, but he actually started playing basketball again. And now Lamar Odom is upping his game again. He has taken a celebrity boxing match and he's going to be fighting Aaron Carter, the pop, oh star, the pop star, the pop <laughs> singer, the dancer, Aaron Carter. You guys remember Aaron Carter? I uh, remember Lamar his song. Odom, Lamar Odom, who is 6'10", is going to be fighting Aaron Carter, who lists himself at six foot one. Lamar Odom is 41 years old. Aaron Carter is 33 years old. They've both struggled with substance abuse in the past and have apparently overcome it or, or at least have managed it, right? They've sought treatment for mm -hmm. it and they seem to be on the other end, which is good. Um, they both believe that training for something like this is healthy for them. So they're in the gym. You can see Aaron Carter right there hitting the, the slam man. Is that what they call those things? Um, and then you see Lamar Odom right there. Lamar Odom though, is an accomplished professional athlete who's competed with some of the greatest athletes in the world, including Kobe Bryant. And you gotta assume when they step into the uh, the ring and they fight at this celebrity event on June 12th at the Showboat Casino in Atlantic City, that Lamar would have the advantage. But we just got this video in moments ago from Aaron Carter, who's telling us, oh, not so fast, everybody. I'm not here to play, watch. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Aaron Carter. How y'all doing? Um, I just wanted to tell y'all I'm really excited to be fighting Lamar Odom. This is a crazy matchup. I mean, it's like David and Goliath. Uh, he's six foot seven. I'm six one. So it's gonna be kind of crazy. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I just want to let you guys know that I'm not just a uh, a music producer, an, an entertainer, um, a singer, a dancer. I'm also a fighter. So uh, I, I grew up street fighting, and you know I'm really looking forward to this match. But my dad always said, the bigger they are the harder they fall. So, Lamar, I'll see you there, bro. Tell me what to make of this, everyone. Oh well, he's going to be in for a, a, a rude awakening when he finds out that Lamar is a lot bigger than 6'10", when he's, I mean, 6'7", when he steps in that Yeah, he's 6'10", that's right. Yeah, that whole thing, like, I, I don't know. I have no confidence in him. I feel bad saying it. I have zero confidence in Aaron Carter. I thought I was going to see him like buffing, like shocking me. And I'm, he looked exactly like the guy that's saying, this is how I beat Shaq. So I just like, I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. I don't know who's going to win, but I, I have to be honest. I'm actually really excited to watch this. And I do <laughs> think it's, I think it's really good for both guys who have both, like Evan said, they've both been yeah. through really difficult times. The fact that they're getting active, they're getting their bodies right, yeah. and they're going to be part of what's going to be a really big event. Uh, this guy, Damon Feldman, he puts on all these celebrity boxing events. This is going to be a big deal, and I, I know personally I'm actually looking forward to watching this. Yeah, here, here's what I've learned throughout the years. You know, Jay Glazer runs an MMA gym in West Hollywood, yeah. and it's not just former athletes who train there. He, he does a lot of work with with um, military people who are dealing yeah. with like PTSD and mm. other yeah. and other issues. And Jay Glazer has said publicly over and over and over again that getting in the gym and training is so good for you when you're trying to you know get healthy and stay healthy yeah. after you've been through you know some tough times. And so when I hear that they're fighting and I see them in the gym, it makes me happy. Yeah. I hope, I mean, I know what we all want to see when we watch boxing. We want to see a big knockout. We want to get some, see somebody get knocked the heck out. But I, I, I'm almost wishing against that. I, I want to see a good fight. I want to see a competitive fight. But more importantly, I want to see both of these guys continue to live on a path yeah. uh, where they're staying healthy and staying. Yeah, I was going to say that because what if like somebody gets knocked out and of course the Internet's going to yeah. be the Internet and meme them out. That's yeah. like that's dangerous for people that don't know how to handle certain things, maybe. So, yeah, that's that's a scary situation in that. But I'm so happy to see that they're finding a healthy outlet. I want to see three hard rounds of boxing that end with them hugging each other yeah. and people applauding and saying, that's really impressive, guys. That's what I'm hoping for.